Hey everyone, it's the weather forecaster Liam here with the 2020 hurricane season forecast. In this video, I'm going to dive into everything you need to know about hurricane season 2020. Like if we're going to have an El Nino or a La Nina season and how they both affect hurricanes in both the Atlantic and the Pacific. As well as a look at the current Atlantic Ocean temperatures that has a very great impact on how tropical storms and hurricanes form. And then a look at the 2020 TRA weather hurricane season forecast along with other forecasts and predictions. All this is coming up right here on TRA Weather. Alright, let's first take a quick recap of last year's hurricane season. Alright, the first system formed May 20th, 2019, and the last system dissipated November 24th, 2019. And of course, the strongest storm was Dorian, with 185 mile per hour sustained winds, had a maximum low pressure of 910 millibars, caused 84 fatalities, and over $4.5 billion in damage. There was a total of 20 invests depressions, tropical storms, and hurricanes last year. 18 of those were named, which was above average. There were 6 hurricanes, slightly below average, and 3 major hurricanes, slightly above average. There's a total of 116 fatalities between those 20 storms, and a total of over $11.5 billion in damage. And 2 of those were subtropical storms, named Andrea and Rebecca. 10 of them were tropical storms, named Chantel, Erin, Ferdinand, Gabriel, Imelda, Karen, Melissa, Nestor, Olga, and Sebastian. Two of those were Category 1 storms, Barry and Pablo. One of those was a Category 2 storm named Jerry. One of them was a Category 3 storm named Humberto. And there may have been no Category 4 storms, but there were two Category 5 storms. One of those, of course, being Dorian, and the other one named Lorenzo. Okay, so now let's take a look at El Nino, La Nina, and Enzo Neutral. Now, I know El Nino and La Nina are typically used in winter forecasts, but they affect weather all around the globe year-round, including hurricane season. So, El Nino brings warmer water to much of the Pacific Ocean due to weak or lack of east-to-west trade winds, and this affects the Atlantic and Pacific hurricane seasons differently. So, for the Pacific, as shown here, there is above average sea surface temperatures, but not only that, the wind shear created by El Nino is typically stronger at lower levels, and that helps hurricanes form in the Pacific. But this is the opposite for the Atlantic, not exactly on ocean temperatures, but the wind shear, which is the change in with wind speed and or direction with height. And El Nino brings stronger wind shear to the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere in the Atlantic, really giving tropical storms and hurricanes a hard time to develop further or even develop at all. And as you would suspect, La Nina is the opposite. It brings cooler water to much of the eastern Pacific Ocean, with the warmer water in the western Pacific due to normal or strong east to west trade winds. And not only bring in cooler ocean temperatures to the Pacific, but also wind shear. And this is, of course, the opposite for the Atlantic Basin, bringing in a more active hurricane season. And then there's Enzo Neutral, and this again, as you would expect, brings average within half a degree Celsius, SSTs, and that's short for sea surface temperatures, to much of the Pacific Ocean. So here's your 2020 El Nino, La Nina, and Enzo Neutral chances. Now as of the latest model runs on May 14, 2020, the chances for an Enzo Neutral hurricane season are above 50% at least until the middle and latter parts of hurricane season, with decreasing chances for both Enzo Neutral and El Nino, and an increase in chance for La Nina. So we could have an interesting second half to the Atlantic hurricane season this year. And you can also see the different model runs in the upper left corner, with most of the models staying near that solid black line, meaning average SSTs for the middle of the Pacific Ocean. But if you do go into the El Nino and La Nina category, and I honestly think we will see a La Nina, but it will be a little later on in the season, near August and September. And so to wrap all this up, Enzo neutral conditions is most likely to continue through the northern hemisphere of summer 2020 with increasing chances of La Nina through the rest of the year. So now to the northern Atlantic sea surface temperature anomalies updated May 27, 2020. 
Now there is quite a lot of both blue and red on this map, indicating below and above average SSTs, but most of the below average temperatures are in the very northern Atlantic, where not many tropical storms or hurricanes form. But further to the south, where they do form, the temperatures are mostly above average, and that is also the same case scenario for the Gulf of Mexico, helping tropical storms and hurricanes form. But there is an area of around average to below average ocean temperatures just off the west coast of Africa, where lots of tropical storms and hurricanes develop. So we will have to watch that over the remainder of hurricane season. So the SST anomalies are slightly above average for where they should be for this time of the season, increasing the chances for hurricanes. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the 2020 hurricane season forecast. And we've actually had some early activity so far this year with two tropical storms named Arthur and Bertha right before the official start date of hurricane season on June 1st. And a normal hurricane season should consist of 12 storms, 6.5 hurricanes, and a little under 3 major hurricanes. Now going to start with my forecast. I am forecasting an above average season with 18 named storms, 9 hurricanes, and 4 major hurricanes. NOAA is also forecasting an above average season with 13 to 19 storms, 6 to 10 hurricanes, and 3 to 6 major hurricanes. Tropical storm risk is forecast in a mainly above average season with 16 named storms, 8 hurricanes, and 3 major hurricanes. But the UK Met Office is actually forecasting an average season with 13 named storms, 7 hurricanes, and 3 major hurricanes. And now to the second half of this forecast, the weather company is forecasting an above average season with 18 named storms, 9 hurricanes, and 4 major hurricanes. Colorado State University is also forecasting an above average season with 16 named storms, 8 hurricanes, and 4 major hurricanes. Now, North Carolina State University has the most aggressive 2020 hurricane season forecast out of all of these forecasts with 18 to 22 named storms, 8 to 11 hurricanes, and 3 to 5 major hurricanes. Now, last but not least, Arizona University is forecasting also an above average season, surprise there, with 19 named storms, 10 hurricanes, and 5 major hurricanes. With the La Nina possible warm ocean temperatures and difficult times due to recent events, this year's hurricane season could be one of the worst ones yet. Make sure to watch TRE Weather for frequent tropical updates all throughout hurricane season to keep you up to date on the latest storm. Be prepared, be smart, and be safe. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.